In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some content streamers figure out their optimal window sizes. Will we fetch the right solution? Stay tuned to find out. For the internet video streaming company Megastreams, the most critical aspect of their operation is the sweet spot between user connection speed, cloud hosting performance, and the window size you use to buffer and request data. Their current architecture is serving video data directly from Google Cloud storage buckets to users on mobile and desktop devices. Over the past month, they've been trying to figure out the right way to duplicate their content and optimize their window sizes so they can ensure consistent buffering to their clients across the US and EU which we can help them figure out by profiling how the read performance adjusts at various window sizes of download. To figure this out, I wrote a very simple script, which creates a regional bucket, creates a bunch of files at a bunch of different file sizes and uploads to that bucket, and then downloads each one of those files 100 times via HTTP fetch with caching disabled. That's important to know. This graph shows the 50th percentile for those times, and that for fetches under one megabyte, we can see very consistent read performance. But uh, one graph never tells the complete stories. So we can switch our test just slightly to get a better view of things. Uh, let's take an eight megabyte file and fetch it through different sized chunks. This graph helps us see our read performance from another perspective. As the chunk size decreases, the overhead per transaction increases, thus making things slower. Combined, these two graphs illustrate something important. Uh, much like write throughput, GCS is extremely strong in terms of single stream throughput, which means that for both uploads and downloads, GCS is at its best performance when you're favoring larger requests, about uh, one megabyte in size. Otherwise, the per transaction overhead of the requests themselves will start to slow things down. For Megastreams, this was a massively helpful piece of data. They now had the ability to determine what level of regional redundancy they needed for serving their video content in order to optimize the one megabyte GCS target to improve buffering speeds. Data saves the day. <laughs> to learn more about how Megastreams improved their upload performance, check out the related article linked in the description below, and don't forget to check out the rest of our Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts. <laughs>